month-over-month -month growth. It is one of the most prevalent methods to track growth. In this video, we will learn all the aspects of month-over-month -month growth. Well, month-over-month -month growth shows the change in the value of a statistic as a percentage of the previous month's value. It can be used to track growth in the value of stocks, the number of visitors to a website, the sales revenue for a business, etc. Let's check out the formula to calculate month-over-month -month growth. To calculate month-over-month -month growth, we subtract the previous month's value from this month's value. Then divide the result by the previous month's value. We multiply it by 100 to express it in percentage terms. This measure is more volatile than year-over-year -year measures because they are affected by one-time events such as natural disasters, people on vacation, peak seasonal demands, etc. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose John had started a new business of selling burgers in the month of January. In January, he sold a total of 300 burgers. In February, he sold 500 burgers. So, what is John's month-over-month -month growth? So, the calculation goes like this. Burgers sold in the month of February, that is 500, less burgers sold in the month of January, that is 300 divided by burgers sold in the month of January, that is 300, and multiply the whole expression by 100. So, the month-over-month -month growth in John's business has been 66.67%. Not a bad number. You must be wondering, why do we measure month-over-month -month growth in percentage, and not in absolute values? Suppose, Mr. Smith wants investors to invest in his digital marketing website. When he says, month-over-month -month change in visitors is 50, it does not seem impressive to the investors. But, when he says 40% month-over-month -month growth, investors see a potential to reach 0.7 million visitors in two years' time if the same growth continues. Let us check how. Suppose the investors in the above example think a single month's growth cannot justify the huge investment they will make. They ask Mr. Smith to get a month-over-month -month growth rate for the past five months. But they are asking for his basically compound monthly growth rate. The formula to calculate CNGR is CNGR is equal to the last month's number divided by the first month's numbers to power 1 divided by the number of months difference between the first and the last month. Deduct 1 from the whole expression. Mr. Smith has got for the past 5 months is as follows. His month-over-month -month growth rate for the past 5 months using the formula for CNGR is 49%, which is greater than the mom of May, and that is impressive. Investors can use CNGR to project visitors in the future. Have a look. We will use the following formula to project the visitors in any future month. Future month's value equals sign present month's value multiplied by 1 plus CNGR to the power of number of months difference. Suppose the investors of Mr. Smith in the previous example are taking a two years horizon. They want to calculate how many monthly visitors Mr. Smith will be getting after two years from now. May month's visitors are 50. We are looking to find May month's visitors after two years. So, we can easily calculate using the formula, and we get 716,870 visitors in the month of May. Month-on-month -month growth as a measure has a few drawbacks too. The first one is that smaller numbers show a huge month-over-month -month growth which is difficult to sustain once the numbers rise. Secondly, CNGR does not assure consistent growth in all the months. It only takes into account the first and the last month into consideration and arrives at a growth rate. Thirdly, for the same reason, even declining growth in business is also not visible in month-over-month. -month. To understand these drawbacks in detail, we suggest reading the article that contains an explanation with examples.